Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix ARK Survival Evolved game crashing at startup, not launching, stuck on loading screen, lagging, freezing, showing black screen error on PC. So let's go through it. So the first method is to check system requirements. So for that, uh, go to Steam, uh, select or go to the store page. Now search for the game over here. And after that, go below and here you can see the system requirements to play the game on your PC. So after this, you can try to launch the game and check if it's working or not. If not, the next solution is to restart your PC. So for that, click on the Windows icon over here then click on power and then select restart so your device your system will restart and after your system restarts now try to launch the game and check if it's working or not if not then uh, next solution is to use different launch options so launch with play ARK no battle eye anti cheat or launch ARK DirectX 10 so uh, go to steam under library section select your game then click on play over here and here you will get an option or uh, play ARK no battle eye anti cheat on official servers only or then click on launch ARK direct X10 low end graphics so you can select any one of these and then try to play the game and check if it's launching or not next is to so the next method is to uninstall battle eye and then launch the game so for that go to steam and then select your game under library section Click on manage then go to browse local files this will take you to the game folder where it has been installed. Now click on shooter games then binaries then win64 then click on battle eye and here you can see under uninstall underscore battle eye so simply you need to right click on it click on run as administrator and then click on yes so this will uh, uninstall battle eye after that go to steam uh, select your game click on play option over here and then click on play. And this will uh, install the battle eye once again. So wait for some time. It will either it will pop up or uh, will install the battle eye. And after that, you can see if the issue is resolved or not. So you need to wait for some time. Now you can see it's saying uh, to install so after that uh, you can check if the issue is resolved or not. Next solution is to set beta participation to AC pre aquatic or change to none. So for that uh, go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on properties then go to betas and here you should select pre aquatica ASE pre aquatica so you simply need to uh, select this and after that try to launch the game and check if it is working if not then again uh, you should select none and after that again try to play the game and check if it's working or not the next solution is to verify integrity of game file so for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on properties then click on install files and here you need to click on verify integrity of game file so after the game is verified now try to launch the game and check if this solution has resolved the issue next solution is to update graphics card so for that go to search option over here search for device manager then go below expand display adapters select your graphics card right click on it click on update driver then click on search automatically for driver so this will search for the best drivers if it's already installed then okay or otherwise you can simply update your graphics card and after that try to launch the game and check if it's working if you are having nvidia or amd then i have provided the link in the description just go through the link and update your graphics card and after that try to launch the game and check if this solution works next is to modify launch options for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on properties then under general here you need to 
type minus dx11 in the launch option and then try to play the game and check if it's working if not then type minus dx12 and after that try to launch the game and check if this solution resolves the issue next is to run game as administrator so for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on properties then go to install files then click on browse and this will take you to the game folder where it has been installed go to the shooter game then binary is 164 and here go below and you can find the application right click on it click on properties then go to the compatibility and here you need to click on run this program as an administrator then hit on apply and ok after that try to launch the game and check if it works if not then click on run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 8 or windows 7 and then click on apply and ok or else click on disable full screen optimizations and then click on apply and ok and after that try to play the game and check if this solution works for you to fix the error next is to allow the game through firewall so for that go to the search options search for windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature then click on change settings and here you need to search for the game if it's listed over here in my case it's already listed but if it is not listed simply click on allow another app and click on browse then go to the uh, game folder where it has been installed and add your game to the list after that select your game make sure both private and public boxes are ticked and then click on ok and after that try to play the game and check if this solution resolves the issue if not the next solution is to update windows so for that go to search option over here search for check for updates option so this will take you to the windows update page here uh, you simply need to click on check for updates if there is any update available update your windows to the latest version and after that try to launch the game and see if it works next is to check graphic settings of the game so uh, when your graphic settings are not properly set up like texture quality resolutions or other things then it directly impacts the game and this is where the game can crash or suffer from other issues and it plays a vital role so uh, you should make sure to set up the settings properly or even lower the graphic settings to avoid the unwanted issue next is to stop overclock cpu and gpu settings so sometimes overclocking makes the cpu or gpu unstable so you are suggested to check if there is any overclocking of cpu or gpu in the background if yes then simply stop it and after that try to launch the uh, game and see if this solution resolves the issue next is to disable in-game overlays so for that go to steam library section select your game right click on it click on properties and here under general here you can see enable the steam overlay while in game it is enabled so you simply need to click on it and this will be disabled after it gets disabled now try to launch the game and check if this solution resolves the issue apart from this for geforce experience simply open geforce experience click on G, uh, gear icon beside username click on general and then switch off in game overlay option so once done now try to play the game and check if it's working or not next is to close unnecessary background tasks so for that go to the taskbar settings over here click on task manager or even you can search for task uh, manager in the search option then uh, under process tab you need to search for the apps or the games or any other that is consuming high resources or yours or is of no use simply you need to select it right click on it and click on end task so this will close the app or game completely from running in the background and after that try to play the game and check if it helps you next is to install the latest patch or update game so for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on properties and here uh, either you can check uh, if there is any update in the update folder or simply you can uh, see the update option available here where you are seeing the play option so if there is any update available simply update your uh, game and after that try to play the game and check if it's working now next is to install visual c++ file so for that uh, i have provided this link in the description just go through it open it and after it is open go below and uh, download and install the visual c++ files for your pc after that restart restart your pc once and then again log into the game and check if this solution resolves the problem next is to change virtual memory settings so for that go to search option search for view 
advanced system settings now click on advanced then under performance click on settings over here then click on advanced after that click on change option then make sure it is uh, not selected and after that select your uh, folder where it has been installed or where game has been installed then click custom size and here you need to type uh, 24576 in the initial size and in the maximum size you need to type 49152 that is 49152 so after that click on set and then ok and after that try to launch the game and check if it resolves the problem next is to disable antivirus program so if you are having any antivirus program installed on your system then uh, it can interrupt uh, while gameplay and can lead to such kind of issues so the antivirus program blocks the game you are playing and stops you from playing smoothly so you are suggested to disable your antivirus program if there is any and after that try to launch the game and check if this resolves the error next is to run game on dedicated graphics card so for that go to search option over here search for graphic settings search for graphic settings and after that uh, search for your game if it is listed over here if not don't worry click on add desktop then go to the game folder where it has been installed and select your game select your game click on add and it will be added over here now under GP preference you need to select high performance and after that try to launch the game and check if this solution works for you if not the final solution is to reinstall the game so for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage and then click on uninstall option and once again uninstall option so after uninstalling the game from your system restart your system once after restarting again uh, go to steam and uh, reinstall the game you are facing issue after reinstalling try to play the game and check if it has worked and you can play the game without any further problem so these are few solutions that will surely help to fix ARK survival evolve game crashing not launching not loading black screen lagging phrasing or other issues on PC so that's all for now in this video thank you